in this video we are going to derive the z transform of impulse function you know impulse function is del of t but here we are going to consider del of n that means discrete impulse function why because when you are asked to find out what is the z transform of uh, impulse function that is obviously a discrete impulse function why because we are not going to apply z transform for the continuous signals so if you are asked to find out what is the z transform of impulse function that is definitely for discrete impulse function only so now here we know that discrete impulse is denoted with del of n and the definition of this discrete impulse is equal to 1 when n is equal to 0 0 when n is not is equal to 0 this is indicated like this at n is equal to 0 you are having impulse with amplitude 1 in all other cases you are having 0 that means n equal to minus 1 or 1 2 3 4 your value is equal to 0 always discrete impulse is having value at n equal to 0 only that value is also equal to 1 now here I am asked to find out what is the z transform of this del of n. So, they are asking what is the z transform of del of n. We know that z transform of any signal x of n is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity del of n or sorry in equation I am having x of n into z power minus n. Now, here I am asked to find out what is the z transform of del of n. So, here I am substituting that z, of, z transform of del of n is equal to summation n e equal to minus infinity to infinity in place of signal I am going to substitute this del of n. So, del of n z power minus n. You can see this summation if I expanded I am going to get so many values with del multiplication like del of minus 2 into z power 2 plus del of minus 1 z power 1 plus del of 0 into z power 0 plus del of 1 into z power minus 1 plus so on and so on this side like this I am going to get. You can observe where I am having del value only at del of 0 del of n is having value at n equal to 0 means del of 0 only we are having value for del of 0 all del of 1 2 3 4 or del of minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 all those are 0 so if you substitute that as zeros you are going to get 0 for this term del of minus 2 is 0 so total term is 0 del of minus 1 is 0 total term is 0 del of 1 is 0 total term is 0 like that all the terms are going to be 0 but here you are having del of 0 is equal to 1 z power 0 is equal to 1 only one term we will get so that value is equal to 1 so x of z the z transform of impulse function is equal to 1 in the initial classes of Fourier transform as I told you any transform of impulse function is equal to 1 here in z transforms also if you consider z transform of del of n you are going to get 1 only. So, this is also very important fundamental signal in z transform. So, what is the z transform of del of n they will ask directly for 1 mark. So, you need to consider 1 any transform of impulse function is equal to 1, Laplace transform of del of t is equal to 1, Fourier transform of del of t is equal to 1, discrete Fourier transform of del of n is equal to 1, z transform of impulse function del of n is equal to 1. So, here also in z transforms the z transform of impulse function is equal to 1. 